Welcome to this video series on Lexical Functional Grammar, also known as LFG. My name is Joey Lovestrand, and I'm a linguist who works with LFG, as well as descriptive grammar, language documentation, and typology. What is LFG? Now, basically, LFG is an approach to modeling syntactic structure. There are many models of syntactic structure, including LFG, minimalism, head-driven phrase structure grammar, tree adjoining grammar, dynamic syntax, role and reference grammar, and more. One of the aims of models of syntactic structure is to capture the essence of grammar, sometimes called universal grammar. The basic idea is that since a child can acquire any language, all languages must have something in common that fits the way our minds work. From this perspective, a good model of grammar makes it no more difficult to represent the grammar of one language than another. Joan Bresnan, who co-created LFG with Ron Kaplan, argued that the mainstream models of syntactic theory in the 1960s and 1970s, uh, those that were proposed by Noam Chomsky, were not plausible models of how language actually works. LFG was proposed as a psychologically real model of a language user's mental representation of syntactic structures. Many publications in LFG have had a goal of testing the model against a diverse range of languages from all over the world to see how well the model works for representing different grammars. Where the model seems to not be capable of representing certain constructions, new variations of the model have been proposed. Since LFG can be applied to any language, it can also be used as a way to make detailed comparisons of particular languages. LFG has also been used by historical linguists to model changes in grammar, and by psycholinguists to model how language is processed in real time. The basic mechanisms of LFG are grounded in computational principles, which means that an LFG grammar can also be read by a computer. This is done in a program called XLE. Computational linguists working with XLE have collaborated under the name the Parallel Grammar Project, or PARGRAM. Work with LFG and computational linguistics also links LFG grammars to tree banks and universal dependencies. Those are some of the ways that people have used LFG in the past. But keep in mind that LFG is a model, and you can feel free to use it in any way that works for you. Because the videos in this series are a very quick overview of LFG, there are two things to keep in mind. First, there will not be detailed explanations of the fundamentals of morphological and syntactic analysis. So if you're not already familiar with these, you might find some of these videos hard to follow. If you are interested in videos introducing syntactic analysis, I'd recommend the Virtual Linguistics Campus on YouTube. You'll find links to resources from their YouTube page in the description of this video. The second thing to keep in mind is that the topics in this video are covered in a superficial manner. Some details are left out, and many important topics are not mentioned at all. But the topics that are covered are all foundational, and they will help you get started in the process of learning about LFG. If you think of the learning process as a puzzle, these videos will help you put the border together, but you will still need to fill in the rest of the puzzle. You won't have a comprehensive understanding of LFG after watching these videos, but you have seen aspects of LFG which I hope will be enough to encourage you to continue learning and also give you enough familiarity to make the learning process easier for you. Here are the 10 topics covered in these videos. Constituency and heads, attribute value pairs and defining equations, information sharing, phrase structure rules, optional nodes and XBAR theory, agreement and unification, grammatical relations and sets, pred and subcategorization, functional control, and the LFG architecture. One final note. As you've probably figured out by now, the word functional in the name lexical functional grammar has no relationship with functional grammar. In the name LFG, the word functional refers to grammatical functions or grammatical relations such as subject and object. The word lexical refers to the distinction between the way meaning is composed in words compared to how meaning is composed in syntax. These characteristics distinguished LFG from the tradition of modeling syntax it branched off from but it is not a very transparent name. So I'll just use the abbreviation LFG throughout these videos.